So, wow guys, welcome back down to Tom's journey and it has been a while, precisely seven months since I roughly did my last upload and boy, have things been going on in that last seven months. Firstly, I want to apologise for not uploading for so, so long. I kind of got myself into a little bit of a rut where I kind of just didn't want to do this anymore and didn't want to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain in like kind of a little bit of a timeline what I've actually been doing for the last seven months and kind of why I took a little bit of a break from running and now why I'm back into running but doing some kind of like completely different distances. So let's rewind back time to January. January, I did zero races at all, um, but I did go skiing with Catherine, which was really nice. Uh, we went for a kind of like weekend at Glen Shee, which was really, really good. I was still training at this point, but I kind of was training for the indoor season, but wasn't really putting in as many much as indoor sessions as I maybe should have been doing. But I was still felt like I was in really good shape at this point. So yeah, February rolls around and February kind of hit me like really kind of hard. I had a very, very rough February. February um, started kind of okay. I went down to London for the BMC there. Around 2.01, I kind of was expecting better. I felt in really good shape, but it was just one of those races where I just didn't transition well to it. Uh, two weeks later, I had the Books Indoors Universities, and that's where my athletics took a really, really bad, hard knock. I thought I was in really, really good shape for this race. I thought that like I was going to run really well. I had this plan in the heats that I was going to try and front run and try and like get away from everybody and kind of just like relax in and kind of the last lap, obviously being four laps indoors, I'd kind of be able to take it a little bit more easily and just scrape through the heat. But that didn't be the case. I went through, I was front running until about 500 metres and then my legs just completely died on me. I had nothing else in the tank. And it purely comes down to the fact that, like, for me, I hadn't been working hard enough through December and January. I'd kind of slacked off a little bit and that really showed. And I'd almost kind of fallen out with the sport completely and I just wasn't enjoying it whatsoever. <laughs> Kind of March, I gave myself a bit of a like a kick in and kind of like I wasn't happy. I had two weeks of just kind of like easy running to try and get over the race and just really just wasn't enjoying. Every run that I went on was just like a bit just annoying and I really kind of hated it. Did not enjoy like every run that I was doing. It was just really, really frustrating because I just knew that I was in some sort of like, good shape, but I just couldn't like transition to races and I'd almost, I'd almost become a kind of a little bit annoyed with the 800 meters and kind of I just didn't want to do it anymore like I kind of hit a block with it and was like nope this like isn't really the distance for me anymore so um a lad who I've been working with Jamie at Liverpool was like well why don't you like try something else like why don't we just go and do a park run and just see what you can do so I went and did the Edinburgh park run because I was down seeing Catherine at the time and I ran 16.49 first like kind of 5k run out and I was like oh this is actually quite fun like I'm going to enjoy this this is kind of like a new transition it's something different it's a little bit longer and I have always enjoyed the longer distances obviously my granddad being like an okay marathon runner and kind of me coming from like a longer distance background I thought to myself I thought maybe I can transition really well to this. <laughs> Uh, to roll April and May into kind of one, all I was doing basically through April and May was knuckling down really and just getting some solid hard training in towards like hopefully trying to perform on the track over the 1500 metres because I kind of decided that maybe the 1500 metres was the way to go at this point. Um, my brother got married in early May so we went over to Italy for that and that was absolutely fantastic. We had an amazing day and week in Italy and just seeing my brother get married was a really kind of humbling experience and it was really great for me to kind of see somebody who I've been partying with for years actually get married and settle down which is just for me it was fantastic and a really good experience to see that. Um, I also finished university um, for my second year and finished with a first so I was really happy with that and I also presented at my first like conference for coaching. I, um, I like talked about my study that I had been doing in second year all year which was my 800 meter study um, on tactical awareness and it was an honour to present that in, some, in front of some really kind of 
prestigious like doctors and leads in their field. So the summer track season starts June, July and August and I started um, working at Centre Parks but firstly I did go to China for two weeks on a a like trip away it was with the university we went to Shanghai Normal University which was uh, we're trying to make relations there for coaching and sport and a few of us were selected to go over there and I was one of them and what a humbling experience it was um, it was really good to obviously learn from the Chinese culture it would have been nice to see a little bit more coaching while I was out there which we didn't kind of get to see but um, it was just a really good genuine experience and seeing how the Chinese like live and work compared to us in Britain was just it was it was really good um, however I did obviously start at Centre Parks which meant I was working between like 40 to 50 hours a week and I just really couldn't train on that like it, my job is an outdoor activity instructor so I teach like um, segways and quad biking and stuff and I'm on my feet all day and you just can't train to the high intensity that you would like to and it does make me sound like a bit of like a kind of like giver upper and somebody who doesn't try that hard when it gets like difficult but for me I really struggled to adapt to the whole fact of li working like a full-time job and training I really did struggle with that um, I kind of quit running altogether kind of just didn't train at all and kind of hit the beers big style got up to like 10 11 stone and um, my missus was like to me she was like do you think you'll ever run again and I was like yeah yeah of course I will I'll get back to it <laughs> Uh, Mid-August rolls around and I decided to myself, I was like, right, um, I need to get my ass in shape and I need to go and do something. So I was like, right, I'm going to sign up for the, the Carlisle Half Marathon. It's totally out of my comfort zone. I've ran okay half marathons in the past, but I've done like no training towards this. So I was literally like to myself, right, we're going to do two weeks training. Um, I'm going to try and do kind of like a 30, a 50 mile week and then a 60 mile week with the half marathon racing and just see where we come out. Uh, the race itself, it went really kind of well considering I'd only done two and a half weeks training. I went through 10 mile in 61 minutes, which was kind of a little bit quicker than I wanted to be. And I kind of died towards the end to an hour and 22. But I did come seventh and I was really happy. And then what that race gave me was the buzz back into running again and kind of that motivation, the fact that I do want to train, but I don't want to be an 8, 1500 meter runner anymore because I don't feel I have the speed and the just the dedication to be able to train for that discipline of lactic all the time. I, I want to switch my distance now to the 3k, 5k, 10k. That's where I want to train now. Um, I want to up my mileage. I want to do it slowly and progressive. And I want to take you guys on the journey of doing that. Um, my aim now is to kind of progress my training from less kind of like high quality speed sessions to more longer progressive runs and really long hard sessions now to get myself in the best shape endurance wise I can possibly be and I'm excited to take you guys on this new path and journey. Um, in regards to obviously my new like upload schedule I'm not going to set a dedicated day because of my third year of uni I really need to knuckle down and work on the fact that I need to work harder this year because obviously it's my third year so I need to knuckle down and really really study hard if I want that first class honours degree so I'm going to try and put out a video every three or four days give or take but if a video doesn't come out unfortunately I am studying towards that and working on my training so I hope you guys enjoy it